In this video, you will meet the seven deadly sins as animals. From the cold-blooded snake with an endless appetite, to the ultimate sinners that would make even high-level priests hide behind the cross. Be gone, demon! Say hello to the mukbang youtuber of the animal kingdom, the Burmese Python. But instead of emptying the shelves at Walmart, these guys empty the swamps of Florida by eating all the native animals. Some backstory. In 1992, a Category 5 storm called Hurricane Andrew made its way through Florida. No one was safe. No! My cabbages! And as if the damage caused by this natural disaster wasn't enough, a breeding facility for pythons was destroyed in the process, unleashing a cluster of hungry snakes that slithered into nearby swamps. Within short, the snakes started thriving. No native wildlife was safe against them. Small mammals, birds, bobcats, and somehow even this big guy. You see, many snakes have adapted to eat large prey, they sacrifice strong jaws for flexible ones, allowing them to expand their mouth around their prey. Dear God. Oh, and to breathe during this, they use this nasty little thing. It's called a glottis, and it's kind of like our windpipes, except snakes use it more like a snorkel. Nowadays, the Burmese python has become one of the apex predators of the Everglades, aka the large swamp biome of Florida. They will eat anything they can catch when they're hungry enough, sometimes even leading to their own death. For example, on Monday, September 26th of 2005, a shocking scene was discovered in the Everglades National Park. The corpse of a large 13-foot Burmese python was found floating and sticking out of its stomach was a freaking 6-foot alligator. The head of the large snake was missing and it's still a mystery how all of this happened. Some believe the alligator was still alive inside the python and thrashed around causing the stomach of the serpent to burst. However, this doesn't explain how the head just <laughs> disappeared. Others speculate that the snake had become an easy target for another alligator after its large meal. The headless python then exploded from gas buildup, causing the alligator to spill out. Regardless of what happened here, these invasive snakes will continue to ravage their new home. But how about not eating a freaking alligator, man? You ever thought about that, huh? Learn from this guy and don't eat too much. Who's that animal? Let me give you some hints. It's warm-blooded and kind of small. It lives in trees and collects nuts to survive the cold winter. It's the woodpecker. The acorn woodpecker, to be more precise. These guys are a lot like the squirrel, but they sometimes take the hoarding of acorns way too far. For instance, the time when a woodpecker couple collected a huge amount of acorns inside someone's house. They did this by pecking holes in the chimney and putting all their acorns inside. Unfortunately for them though, after five years of hard work, mealworms had started infecting their treasure trove. Which, in turn, <coughs> alerted the homeowner to call the pest control. Upon further inspection, it turned out that this power couple amassed more than 300 kilograms of acorns. That's a lot. Almost as heavy as Joe. Huh? Who is Joe? Ahem. <clears throat> While rare, this happens occasionally. Another instance was when a woodpecker stored around 140 kilograms of acorns inside of a telecommunications antenna, disrupting its signals. 
Sadly for the woodpecker, the acorns were emptied and he had to move back with his parents. To add insult to injury, he was given no sympathy, as the viral video of this event was mislabeled. The comments show their sympathy towards a squirrel that didn't even exist. Typically, woodpeckers store acorns one at a time. This keeps them dry which prevents mold and spoilage. However, in case they find a good spot such as a hollow tree or certain man-made structures, their inner greed kicks in. Oftentimes, ending with their collection being stolen or going bad before they can reap their rewards. So, don't put all your eggs in one basket or something like that. I don't know. You. Yeah, you. You might think of yourself as kind of lazy, but are you sit around all day, do nothing and just eat? Lazy? I sure hope not. But that's just the kind of lazy the next animal is. The sunfish. It's very different from most fish, you know, fast and spastic. The reason why they are so slow is because of their bad diet, which is made up of jellyfish. Jellyfish. And you guessed it, more jellyfish. Jellies are basically all water. Just imagine how tired you would be if you only ate a bunch of cucumbers. So, to conserve energy, the sunfish more or less just floats in the water currents, munching on jellies along the way. Being slow-moving animals, they rely on their sheer size to scare off most potential predators. And as an extra layer of protection, their skin is rubbery and covered in nasty mucus, making them very unappetizing. Though, if the predator is hungry enough, the fish often end up as free lunch. So, these fish basically survive by being huge, disgusting blobs of floating excuses for- Oh, I'm sorry big one. I meant to say they're cute fish just chilling among the waves, but still very lazy. Dolphins. These fishy mammals have a reputation as good guys, saving us from sharks and being friendly creatures. And it's quite common knowledge that dolphins are one of the few animals who take part in sexual activities just for the fun of it. But did you know they also like to engage in these suspicious activities? Let's start with Echolocation Vibration Stimulation. This picture should provide you with all the context you need. I mean, if I were a dolphin, I... never mind. Sexual Aggressiveness. Dolphins, especially males, tend to mount everything that moves. So, unless you prepare to be traumatized, don't get in the water with them. <clears throat> Let's take things up a notch. Male dolphins do something really messed up for self-pleasure. Crossing several moral realms in the process. This is really messed up. So, let's say it like this. You have a fish, a dead fish, and you have a frisky male dolphin. You get this. Yeah. Rest in... No. It's too late for that now. Poor fish. Okay, kids. So, when 15 male dolphins and a single female dolphin love each other very much, the male dolphins will pressure the female into mating, often using strategies such as biting and body slamming. While all of this seems wrong in our eyes, dolphins don't have morals. They just follow their lustful instincts. So don't be too hard on them. With that being said though, get out of here you perverts.
Show, show. Moving on. Did you know that many bodybuilders suffer from body dysmorphia and feel smaller than they really are? Well, meet their opposites, the infamous honey badgers. Completely fearless animals who are cool as cucumbers when facing danger. And this behavior is doing them good as a running badger is a dead badger. There are many stories where a single badger held itself against multiple lions and came out somewhat unscathed. With a fierce temperament and thick, loose skin, it can turn around once bitten and go ham in the face of the predator. However, honey badgers are not as invincible as they seem to think. Constantly eating venomous creatures, getting stung by bees while eating honey and encountering African tear predators. It's only a matter of time until they bite off more than one can chew. Just like in the story of Icarus and the Sun, one needs to know their own limits, otherwise their pride and overconfidence will be their downfall. Do you know what bears, tigers, lions and sharks have in common? Combined, they kill around 200 people per year, which is less than half of what the hippos do, around 500. Hippos are kind of the worst. On the surface, they might seem like cute, clumsy, and friendly creatures. But in reality, they're actually two metric tons of pure wrath. And despite being this enormous, they easily outrun even the fastest humans on the planet. Oh, and you see these sharp things? They will turn you into Swiss cheese. It's no wonder why these guys kill so many people each year, but... Why so mad, bro? Hippos are simply extremely territorial animals. If you get too close to their waters, they might warn you by showing off their huge jaws. But most likely they will see red and decide to attack you. Running you over like Caitlyn Jenner and breaking every bone in your body. If you want to end the suffering quickly, I suggest putting your head, which is now a watermelon by the way, into their mouth. You know, I feel kind of bad for the crocodiles sharing the waters with them. Just imagine living next to an unpredictable psycho. Crocodiles might not be good guys, but at least they kill animals to eat and survive. Hippos, on the other hand, kill for what exactly? To defend their puddle against invaders? Pfft, give me a break, man. There are many definitions of envy, but let's just call it the resentful feeling you get when seeing someone with something you don't have but really want to have. It could be wealth, it could be status, or whatever this means. Anyhow, the chimp, an intelligent animal, sure, but do they have the ability to feel envy? Well, the crazy story I'm about to tell you might be an indication of that, or it might just be me attributing a human emotion to an animal's behavior. On March 3rd, 2005, James Davis and his wife visited Animal Haven Ranch. You see, their former pet chimp, Mo turned 39 that day, so they wanted to surprise him with a birthday cake. Sitting next to his enclosure, they gave him a piece of cake and he was reportedly a very happy ape, even clapping his hands. The reunion was going great. Meanwhile, in a nearby cage, a young male chimp saw this and was consumed by envy. And just as the wife went in for a second piece of cake, she noticed something in the background. A shiver raced down her spine as she locked eyes with something hateful, something evil. It was the young male chimp staring into her soul. You see, the door to its cage hadn't been locked properly. It charged and attacked her, grabbing hold of her hand before clamping down with its strong jaws. Munching and pulling violently until her thumb was pulled out. 
Trying to save her, James pushed his wife under the picnic table and managed to get in between the two. Being tall and a former athlete, James sized himself up against the animal. But not only was the young chimp unfazed, to James' horror, another, larger chimp was approaching. Letting out a roar, he braced himself for impact as the larger chimp lunges onto him. He tried forcing it away with all his might. Nothing, like pushing against a brick wall. The ape went for his face, biting and chewing him between the eyes, before ripping his nose out and forcing its strong fingers into his eyes, gouging them out like jelly. The mauling continued and got even worse. The evil pair of chimps, but of most of his fingers, they rip out his lips and teeth. As if destroying James' face and hands wasn't enough, the monsters then tore apart his buttocks and genitalia. This nightmare of an animal attack went on until the sanctuary owner's son-in-law, Mark, was alerted by the wife's gut-wrenching screams and arrived with his revolver pulled out. He aimed at the larger chimp, shooting it in the head. Seeing his older accomplice killed, the smaller chimp ran away with James dragged behind him but was promptly shot to death. Silence washed over the Animal Haven ranch. To leave you with some closure, James survived and has undergone 60 surgeries. His life would not be the same but he still loves Mo very much. Chimps are unpredictable, violent, and vicious animals. But did they really do all of this over a birthday cake? There is no way of telling. It's just as likely that they were understimulated and wanted to break something. And that takes me to the moral of this video, which is animals don't have any morals. But talking about the animals embodying these sins is still very interesting and it serves a purpose. It can help us sympathize and relate to them on a closer level. For example, I believe most of us can see ourselves in that sunfish waking up in the morning and turning off the alarm. So let's be thankful for these guys for being such sinners. Not you though, freaking monsters. Anyways guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.